So I don't know if you were saying that the clock above me makes a lot of noise, so I'm gonna remove the clock. Just give me a second. Alright, so today morning I filmed a video with Puneet Kohli, he's an engineer at Apple, he lives in Sunnyvale, California, and he was born and raised in the US and then for his undergraduate he moved to COEP. COEP is a college in Maharashtra, it's called College of Engineering Pune and it's one of the top colleges in Maharashtra. So once he finished his undergraduate degree, he moved back to the US and he studied at Texas A&M University. Now Puneet has experience in both Indian universities and US universities and we thought it'll be fun to do a quick comparison about, you know, what were his experiences at these universities, how are the teaching styles different, what do you learn as a student and most importantly, which university is better and which has better learning outcomes. So let's understand a bit about US and Indian universities. By the way, disclaimer, we might talk a bit negative about Indian universities. The education system is broken, I agree, but that does not mean that you should not go to college because college makes you very mature. It teaches you a lot about life. It helps you make amazing friends. So it has a lot of positive outcomes. So if someone's asking you to drop out or if someone's saying, hey, should you go to college or not? I would say, and even Puneet agrees to this, we would always say that go to college. It's really important to one's life. All right, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So Puneet, let's go really back, right, to your undergrad days. Mm -hmm. How was your experience at COEP? Uh, what things did you learn at COEP, which, you know, sort of led the way to Apple? I, I learned almost, like, I can't say nothing, but I learned very little from the actual education I received. Do you know what I mean? Like, the classes I took. That's interesting, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, I know. I mean, I've had scenarios where, like, uh, people in my, my batch would remember, where, like, I fought with professors and like, you know, verbally in, in class because either A, they would be teaching wrong stuff or B, you know, if you like corrected them teaching something wrong, then they would just get like furious. Um, and there were professors who were like wrong. Like you would, you know, like show them on your phone or laptop that, hey, look, whatever you're saying is wrong. Here's like the correct thing. Like th this one person just got like really furious and I had to like write an apology letter to them uh, wow. just so I could like continue taking the course. <laughs> And you know, it, it yeah, like I, I learned very little from the actual coursework. I mean, uh, the environment was great, right? COEP is a college where there was a lot of uh, extracurricular activities that, you know, no matter who you are, like you'll find your calling. Basically, I feel that was a good thing about that university specifically. So I uh, ended up doing like in my first year, like some public outreach work. I did some design work, I did some art. Uh, and then eventually, you know, I came across this group of students who were interested in making uh, games and apps and kind of that, you know, led me forward. Um, but yeah, like in terms of the education that I received there, I would say it was like, you know, uh, not what I expected, right? Oh, and you I'll, know I'll what the pricing part is? Yeah. Uh, COEP is the number one college in Maharashtra. <laughs> so you can imagine what's the situation in the other colleges. Don't, don't tell them I said this. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, no, but that's true, right? Like, I I can imagine if that's the best, then, like, uh, we need to do something better yeah. for everyone else. Like, a lot of these professors have almost zero industry experience. They, you know, do their master's, do their PhD, and write a couple of research papers and get into college. Uh, well, there are very few professors who actually, you know, work at, say, Intel and then come and teach electronics yeah. at college. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's possibly another thing. Uh, like you know there's a lot of uh lecturers here again not professors but lecturers who you know will spend their daytime like working at a company oh and then uh in the evening they'll like go give a course at so and so university like you know uh, and it's like i i can apply for such opportunities you know if i'm interested like universities around me uh, they have job openings that you can apply to and the job opening will require you to have like X years of experience working in the field before you can teach that subject. Um, so yeah, that's another thing. Interesting. Uh, let's move on to your master's journey. First of all, why did you choose master's? And was it worth it? Where do you learn there? And how was it different from India? Yeah, for sure it was worth it. If I didn't do a master's, I would, you know, in my whole life think that what I studied in India is like, that's how education is. And I, I would probably never uh, suggest anyone else to do or, or put so much effort into like their own education. 
um yeah i think the quality of education is really different um let's see what else i think the infrastructure uh, obviously us universities just have like yeah. insane amounts of in- infrastructure um opportunity wise it's it's different like you know everyone here is doing a job while studying even not just like students who are from india but even students who were you know from the us students from all over the world are doing part time jobs so i think it also like builds your character too right like it's humbling in a sense like everyone's on the same page you know you may be like from a very rich family or not well to do family but everyone's kind of hustling basically and th- seeing that mm. mentality is really motivating um in terms of job hunt and stuff you know uh, in india there's this on campus uh, concept right yeah. company yeah. come on campus and you're like spoon fed jobs you just have mm. to be good enough to pass an interview uh but in the us like everything's on your own like you are basically you have to do your own marketing you have to do your own studying right you have to do your own effort of like applying so you're doing like marketing sales and engineering right if you consider oh. <laughs> it like a parallel to like a, a company if you're you're the company or you're the product mm-hmm. and i think it's interesting cuz like now hey I, this introvert person who's had trouble you know speaking confidently their whole life now they need to like up their game they need yeah. to go to career fairs and start talking to recruiters they need to say you know put yourself out there and it gets a lot of people out of their comfort zone mm. um so that's definitely very interesting i think that's why i feel you know especially the younger generation in the us is way more independent than you know the indian counterparts because as you said you know on campus jobs you just have to give a coding test and then you get a job while over here you have to sell yourself you have to go out there and understand how the market works which in a yeah. way you know sort of paves the path for uh the future jobs and maybe they could even start up in that case true i mean uh just kind of talking on that same point right about independence uh i i kind of knew and from experience of my friends who were still in the us i knew like you know students are doing internship in first year second year third year and so i kind of had this in my mind like hey why am i forced to do internship only after my third year like why can't i do internship before that and so when i went to uh, my university i said hey like i'm in uh, i was in second year at the time i said i'm in second year and i want to do an internship basically between my second and third year and they said no like you can't i said what do you mean i can't they're like our university policy doesn't allow you to do an internship i was like how does it matter to you right the the, the ecosystem in india just wasn't prepared for like letting someone like work d- earlier than society wants them to like i don't know anyone in india at least at my time who was doing part time work during university right like if they were like it might have been looked down upon you know like uh, like like the common dialogue you might hear is are iske paas to paisa nahi hai to isko mm. job karna padta hai something like that right but that that's not true i i know a lot of students especially now with you know everything being digital like like yourself you're making videos there are people doing freelancing that wasn't as common place you know like 7 8 years ago yeah and then you realize that you know through these internships and freelancing gigs you learn more than what was taught in college for for sure yeah i would agree um that being okay, said you know one quick question where yeah, do you think ahead. these people lack like where do you think these colleges lack and how can they improve i i think there's just a um gap in you know like like so I, i've now studied in the us as well in my master so i have like that contrasting experience and i'll talk more about my masters later but in terms of what i think they lack it's like the the professors themselves are not on the cutting edge of you know like education and i think in in the us that's they are at least to the degree that i could tell because you know like uh professors aren't most of them at least aren't just there to teach they're also doing research right and so the better they teach you about the subject the more likely you are to like said subject and potentially you know join the effort to be a researcher in that field or do a you know thesis in that field or do a phd in that field and like you know you can join their lab or you might contribute back to science basically by working with them and so it's like you know it's 
in the overall benefit of the ecosystem for you to get a good edu education. Um, whereas, at least when I was studying, I didn't see necessarily that sort of innate motivation. You know, like if I perform well in my studies, like the professor has no benefit other than, you know, like as a teacher, the benefit is your students are getting a good ed good education and that's what you should strive for. But like intrinsically, it doesn't matter to them.